Hey everybody, it's um, Monday, January 19th, is it? Martin Luther King Day, and I got up early to speak on this one, because I don't know how long I'm going to talk. <clears throat> but Martin Luther King Day is important to me for um, a lot of reasons, and and I want to say that, you know, I'm going to speak my mind, I'm going to, I don't know if I can remember everything I want to say, I have a lot of thoughts about this. I want to give a disclaimer. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts, my experience. As a result, I am certain that some of you who listen will not like what I have to say. I'm, but I'm telling you that we live in the mind, you know, and what we comprehend is our reality. And I'm telling you mine, okay? It may not resonate with yours, okay? When it comes to Martin Luther King Day. <clears throat> Martin Luther King was, is very important to me, and he was someone, when I was a little boy, he was a hero, absolutely, I looked up to him. And, um, you know, uh, he, I can't even remember all the ways that he exemplified what I wanted to be. <clears throat> when he was killed after Kennedy, you know, of course, when Kennedy was killed, that was a huge shock to my system as a child, you know, and my belief system in what I thought was real. And when they killed Martin Luther King, even as a child, it was obvious that it was, it was done on purpose and that the powers that be, in other words, our actual country, and you know, some people aren't going to like this, but this is the way it looks to me and it looked like this from the day it happened. It looks like to me like America killed Martin Luther King. It looks to me like America killed Martin, uh, John F. Kennedy. It looks to me like America kills anyone that gets in the way of the power of the, of the ruling class. Anything that potentially could really disrupt the way things go, most people are gotten rid of. And so the um, marking of Martin Luther King Day in as far as what the what the media and the status quo want you to think about him, I'm not down with that. Um, in my mind, if Martin Luther King were still alive, he would be extremely upset with the way things are. Progress, progress my ass. It's not progress. It's not real progress, the fact that we can shop more now and that we can go to certain places or that we have a brown-skinned president I see through that. I always have. That's not progress. Those are um, those little trinkets t tossed, thrown out to the uh, unsoiled masses from the elite. They don't give a shit about black people or about the real message of Martin Luther King who wanted justice and equality for all. And, um, you know, he stood for... Um, love and compassion for all people there is no evidence that this love and compassion is in in effect in the uh hallowed halls of justice government anywhere where there's power there's there's no love now here's something else that i just really couldn't wrap my brain around until recently you know america really is uh, designed by the Masons, you know, the Freemasons. And from what I understand, you know, the, Mace, the Freemasons are a society within a society, okay? Albert Pike, who was a high-ranking Freemason, also the founder of the KKK, has a statue in Washington, D.C., on one of those, uh, I, I went and looked at it, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is not something new to me, but it's like when I first came across this information probably ages ago, it just didn't compute, so it didn't register. But now it registers, especially once I found out that there was a public protest. There have been efforts to get the statue removed because this is the leader of the Ku Klux Klan. Got a, a statue, um, monument, you know, dedicated to him in, in the, the, 
the capital of this country. And then when I looked at the uh, information that's public online about the protest against the statue, well, he's a mason. He's done... Yeah, <laughs> the argument, to me, just laid bare the truth of America, which is the ruling class, the elite... Who, those ruling 13 families, whoever they are, the people that really have the power in this world and who have had it for a long time, are very elitist and very racist. So I'm not fooled that America, the progress that has been made amongst people as far as racism dying, well, it's, there's progress amongst people, individuals, but to this day, I deal with the unequal perception of others, of people, of me as a person. Because of the color of my skin, I encounter it when I do things in the world. You know, I could give example after example. Um, and it's it's not, I don't, I don't it's like I'm not even going to sit here and try to prove to someone who doesn't believe it. It's like it's regard, it doesn't matter if you don't believe it. You're lucky you don't have to deal with it. I have to still deal with it. And so, I respect the memory of Martin Luther King. The man was very important. But I want to respect him in a manner that I think he would be, I think that he would be saying something similar to what I'm saying if he was here, which is, you know, you guys have taken my memory and my legacy and turned me into a soundbite. And... And if anything, you're trying to use me against the people, which is, you know, well, here's your day, here's your leader, is not good enough for you? I heard something in the news yesterday where, in effect, the concern about Martin Luther King Day is that folks will just stay focused on the, the memory and not do something foolish like actually protest, which is what Martin Luther King was about. He'd be out in the streets today if he were alive. Ferguson, are you kidding me? individual people through life we have come to recognize each other across the borders of race and color and class many people have awakened to realize that we're all brothers but the but the people who have so much money power and many of them are so inbred you know what i mean that blue blood bullshit that they're not in touch with reality and um, practically everyone is just a useless eater. They want to get rid of people. So to think that Martin Luther King and his struggle for um, civil rights for people of color has any value to to America, the corporation of America, please. I'm not fooled. And it is not a sign of progress that the, the sitting president of the United States has brown skin. He's cousins with Dick Cheney. It's an inside joke. It's an inside job. He's just a water boy. He's a corporate dupe. Um, he's not a real representative of people with color. I saw that from the beginning. And so, I respect the memory of Martin Luther King and what he tried to do. But I want to take the opportunity to say that America doesn't care about black people. America doesn't care about people. And the manipulation through the Tavendish or whatever and all the other different um, Tavistock through Tavistock and all the other things that go on above and beyond what people see you know, it's working to solidify the power nest of those that have it but it's done nothing to improve the lives of the common the fact that the president has brown skin and race relations are where they are at today um, in general paints a bleak picture that's what I I mean I could just go on you know what I'm saying 
So my main concern, you know, always is about the, the falseness, the illusion and the lie of our, of, our, of our society. Almost everything we're taught and told is a lie. And people just, you know, it works so well that when you try to tell people, well, you know, actually, it ain't like that. It's like, they want to get mad at you.